Welcome to the Foreign Correspondents Club of Japan. My name is uh, Michael Penn. Uh, I'm the vice president of the club, and I will be your moderator for today. Uh, we have a very special guest today, one who uh, I personally am very uh, interested to hear what he has to say today. Uh, he needs little introduction. Uh, most of you have gathered here because you know exactly who he is. He is the former prime minister, uh, Yukio Hatoyama, and he was prime minister. Uh, he came into power in a landslide election, uh, which was held, as I recall, August 30th of uh, 2009. And uh, he was prime minister for, what was it, eight or nine months? Eight, eight months. Eight months. Uh, and uh, then in the beginning of June of 2010, uh, he stepped down after a very uh, short, controversial, but exciting uh, premiership. And uh, after him, there followed two more prime ministers of the Democratic Party of Japan uh, until December of 2012 when the long-ruling Liberal Democratic Party came back into power under Shinzo Abe. So, we have, we're going to have him reflect on where things stand now. Uh, and what he is doing now, in case you're wondering, is uh, he is the president of his own uh, institute, which is called the East Asian Community Institute. And uh, you may remember, East Asia Community was one of the slogans, one of the, the, the issues which he promoted uh, very strongly during his uh, premiership. Uh, he believed that Japan should work very hard to have a positive and constructive relations with its Asian neighbors, uh, South Korea and China. Uh, it seems to be a somewhat different spirit than exists in the current policies. Uh, and uh, if you see, in fact, he's been publishing uh, books through his institute and through other publishers. Here's a number of pamphlets on various issues that have been uh, published through his own institute about uh, the East Asia community and the future of Okinawa, for example. Uh, here's one about Korea and North Korea, uh, the Hinoko base issue, and uh, of course one of the other issues that we're probably going to hear a lot about today, uh, the Ukraine issue uh, and, uh, and uh, Japan-Russia relations. And very shortly, uh, he has another book coming out, which is about uh, again, the East Asia community and why the concept remains relevant uh, to the Japanese situation today. So first, uh, he'll have a speech of about uh, 25 or 30 minutes. Uh, he'll be speaking in Japanese, uh, even though his English is, is quite good. Um, and uh, our uh, interpreter, of course, will be Ms. Takamatsu, uh, our all-time pro. And I'll hand it over to former Prime Minister Hatoyama. Uh, please... Uh, they're yours. Thank you. Michael Penn-san, ni go shokai o itadakimashita. Hatoyama de gozaimasu. Hisashiburi ni kamera no hōrutsu o itadakimashite, naika seijika ni monotta yona sakkaku o toboete orimasu. Kyo wa watakushi ga souri daijin jidai ni taihen 秘書官として、お世話になりました佐野さん、もう見えいただいておりますし、また同志として活躍していただいていました。亀谷子さんもいらっしゃいますので、いろいろと思い出が尽きないものはございますが、今日私がこちらにお招きをくださったのは、な
Um, I see many people, familiar people in the audience, familiar faces in the audience. Uh, Mr. Sando, who I am greatly indebted to. Uh, Ms. Kame, who uh, was a colleague of mine. Uh, I am full of uh, many, many memories as I sit before you today. Um, I'm sure, however, that the reason that I was invited to speak before you today is because you all want to ask this burning question, which is, why in the world did you go to uh, Crimea, the Crimean Peninsula? Uh, so today I would like to uh, speak primarily about this topic and then also perhaps touch upon some of the things that um, I tried to accomplish during my years as Prime Minister, also touch upon uh, the Futema issue. Uh, I ask for your indulgence and let me s and I'll allow, you allow me to please uh, sit for the rest of this speech. In response to this uh, burning question, why did I go to Crimea? Uh, the answer is very, very simple. Uh, if I summarize my feelings, it is that I have this great uh, wish uh, for Japan to become a truly autonomous, uh, independent nation. え、私はソウリ時代にえ、祖父の頃から、あ、ロシアとの関係というものが、あ、家で鳩山という家においても重要な位置を占めていたものですから、北方領土問題の解決に向けて少しでも役に立ちたいとそのように考えておりました。uh, when uh, I was Prime Minister, or even before that, um, I have, uh, since my childhood, uh, always had uh, the feeling within our household, uh, beginning with my grandfather's um, uh, era, of being of being very, very preoccupied or being very, very concerned about Japan-Russia ties. In particular, when I served as Prime Minister, one of the great uh, goals that I had, desires that I had, wishes that I had, was to somehow bring uh, to a resolution the problem of the Northern Territories. 当時 Although while I served as Prime Minister, I did have uh, several opportunities to meet with the uh, President of Russia at that time, uh, Mr. Medvedev. Um, I unfortunately uh, could not come to a conclusion or a resolution of this issue and had to leave the post of the Premiership before I could see a final solution. I was in the first time I was I feel now that uh, we must do everything in our power to try to bring this uh, issue to a resolution during uh, Prime Min uh, during President Putin's uh, presidency. So, the President's and uh, something that worked very, very uh, fortuitously uh, in this area was the fact that uh, Mr. Putin and uh, Prime Minister Abe had opportunities to meet six times, six summit meetings. And I had been told that the relationship between the two persons were very, very positive. So I was full of great expectations that uh, while uh, Prime Minister Abe was in office, while President Putin was in office, the two would be able to begin uh, actual deliberations and discussions and debates, uh, negotiations to bring this uh, issue to a close. ところが、昨年の冬から春にかけて、いわゆるクリミアの問題が起きて。え、日本は米国に追随するような形でロシアに対する経済制裁を加えました。Unfortunately last year, um, beginning in the winter and, and continuing into the spring, uh, we saw the emergence of what we call the Crimean issue or Crimean uh, problem. Uh, as a result of this, uh, Japan followed in the footsteps or the, uh, followed the leadership of the United States and imposed economic sanctions against Russia. え、多分私が推察するにアベソリあるいは日本政府はあ、本当はあまり経済制裁をやりたくなかったんではないかと思っておりますが、しかしアメリカに知られる形でお付き合い程度の軽微なものではありましたけれども、制裁を課したわけで
I uh, believe, and this is of course just simply my uh, uh, assumption, I believe that probably Prime Minister Abe and uh, the members of the Japanese government would have preferred not to impose these kinds of economic sanctions. However, uh, because of uh, the strong uh, desire of the United States uh, and because Japan wanted uh, to be able to uh, follow uh, or uh, be companionable uh, to the United States, they did impose uh, economic sanctions on Russia. They are uh, economic sanctions that are fairly light in nature but they uh, symbolize uh, the uh, desire of the Japanese government uh, to uh, have close ties with the United States. Moscow Last fall, I had an opportunity to visit Moscow, and I met with the Speaker of the uh, House or the Speaker of the uh, Parliament uh, there, and uh, he explained to me that he felt it was highly regrettable that the Japanese government made a mistaken uh, policy decision to impose these economic sanctions. あ、その経済制裁というものを深刻に受け止めたのは無理もありません。結果としてプーチン大統領の来日が今になっても決まらないという、そういう状況になりました。uh, I mentioned earlier that the economic sanctions that were actually imposed on Russia by Japan uh, were fairly light uh, in uh, nature. Even so, the fact that any economic sanctions are imposed on Russia from the Russian point of view is something, of course, uh, that was very, very uh, uh, treated as very, as very, very serious or grave problem. As a result of this, uh, even now, the date for uh, President Putin's uh, visit to Japan has not yet been determined. Putin I believe that uh, when we have a situation where uh, the visit of uh, President Putin cannot be decided, uh, uh, visit to Japan cannot even be decided, then given such an environment or given such a background, we cannot have any expectations that uh, progress will be made on resolving the Northern Territories issue. I feel this is a tremendously regrettable, uh, sort of a wasteful uh, opportunity, a very, very sad thing indeed. あ、as a result, uh, I questioned uh, whether the Japanese government uh, truly uh, should have imposed uh, these economic sanctions as a way to, dis uh, to express uh, its willingness to follow uh, the will of the United States. Uh, I also questioned whether the Japanese uh, government should continue to uh, keep these sanctions in place. As a result, I felt it was very important to visit uh, the area myself and see with my own eyes what the situation was so that I could be be more uh, clearly understand whether Japan should be following such policies. また uh, separately from this, um, I have been told that uh, several days ago, uh, Mr. Uh, Shigeaki Koga came to speak before you at the FCCJ, and he uh, spoke primarily about the, the relationship between the media and uh, politics, in particular the media and the current administration. I believe that uh, what I uh, have been discussing about, uh, you know, what I've been telling you about uh, in regard to the Crimean situation, I think this media aspect also plays a part. Uh, 
Uh, I believe uh, that uh, it is my impression uh, that the Japanese government and uh, the Ministry of Foreign Affairs fundamentally receive uh, information about uh, the world through uh, the United States and uh, that the uh, Japanese government and the Ministry of Foreign Affairs take this information from the United States as being fundamentally correct and true. Uh, and uh, as a result, they base their policies on this information. However, in regard to this particular issue, the issue of what has been happening in the Ukraine, I do believe that perhaps not all of the information surrounding this issue necessarily comes from the United States. In other words, there are other kinds of information available beyond what the United States has provided. え、縛られている in regard to the Ukrainian issue, it is a very, very complex issue. Uh, my understanding, and this understanding comes from uh, the uh, the opinions of uh, many academics and scholars and people who are very, very well versed uh, in these matters. My understanding of the Ukrainian issue uh, is that during the period of the Sochi Olympics, when uh, President uh, Putin uh, was so very, very much involved and uh, busy and preoccupied uh, with the Sochi Olympics, um, forces in the United States and Europe basically in the West, uh, took advantage of the fact that Mr. Putin was uh, not able to focus on other matters and basically were responsible for basically um, creating secret different maneuvers to create this Ukrainian situation. It has uh, become apparent over time that uh, when I speak about the United States being involved in, in this kind of um, activity, uh, I refer not necessarily to the entirety of the United States, but uh, it has uh, recently come to light that uh, the neoconservatives who have uh, the backing of the um, industrial military complex in the United States, they seem to have been very, very prominently working in the background to this affair. そのような方々の手によって非合法に追放されたとそのように解釈するべきではないかと思います。I feel that uh, perhaps the most correct interpretation of what happened in the Ukraine was that uh, as a result of the uh, different um, maneuverings and plans of these uh, groups of people, uh, the uh, president of the Ukraine, Mr. Yanukovych, was uh, Higoho, which is illegally uh, basically ousted from his post. これは見方によって大きく異なることであるわけでありますが、アメリカがとすれば当然いわゆる市民活動、市民運動の皆さん方が民主化を求めてヤヌコビッチ政権を倒したという見方になります。of course, having said this, I understand that there are many uh, different points of view uh, regarding this matter, and perhaps uh, in the United States, the uh, uh, general uh, view is that uh, this was actually uh, a democratic movement, a civil um, uprising, basically, uh, where the uh, people of the uh, nation ousted uh, Mr. Yanukovych. And as I said earlier, uh, there are many points of view in regard to this matter. It is also a very, very complex issue, so uh, I cannot at this point say one uh, viewpoint is uh, definitely the uh, only viewpoint that is possible, the only correct one. しかし一方の側だけが正しくて、すなわちオバマが正義でプーチンが常に悪であるというような判断をすることは、これは必ずしも適当ではないとそのように思っています。
But uh, what I'm saying is that because it is a complex problem and because there are many points of view, I believe that the correct way to proceed is to look at all of these different kinds of points of view and uh, think about them and make one's own decisions. In other words, uh, what I am uh, concerned about is that only one side or one point of view is respected or held as to be true. Uh, to be more uh, specific, uh, uh, the uh, fundamental uh, kind of um, thinking that seems to exist, which is that uh, the Obama administration always stands on the side of justice and is always correct, and uh, Mr. Putin uh, is always the bad person. I believe this kind of thinking uh, is not necessarily the only way to think. I what I want to say is that uh, when one looks at a problem of this uh, complex nature, uh, one must try to f seek um, ways to sort of unlock the mysteries or the questions surrounding these issues. And one way to possibly uh, unlock uh, the uh, mysteries surrounding this issue is that we look back on a particular incident that occurred that great gained great media attention, which was when there was a clash between uh, the security forces of the government on one side and the civil activists on the, one s on the other side. And uh, there were many uh, people who were killed on both sides. And when there were inspections done later, it was discovered that the same kind of ammunition, the same ammunition had been used to kill uh, people on both the civil activist side and uh, the government security forces side. Uh, in other words, uh, from the people who are standing on the uh, civil uh, activist side, it is only natural that uh, they make the assumption that because they are struggling to gain democracy, uh, obviously the people that uh, shot at their side uh, had to be people who were supporting uh, Yanukovych. In other words, it was the uh, former president who had uh, ordered these kinds of um, killings. However, as I mentioned earlier, the truth seems to be slightly different. この when we see what happens and after uh, Mr. Yanukovych uh, f f fled uh, from our office after his administration uh, collapsed, we saw the emergence of an interim government and then we saw the emergence of an administration led by Mr. Poroshenko. Uh, but uh, during uh, this time, over the past year or so, we have seen uh, that uh, a kind of Ukrainification uh, uh, has occurred uh, in the country. There are much more feelings of uh, wanting to make the country more Ukrainian as much as possible. And I believe that these kinds of perhaps nationalist feelings have created even greater confusion and strife. の uh, for example, we see that uh, among the ministerial posts in the government, there are persons who uh, can be considered neo-Nazis uh, in their thinking. And in the new administration, uh, we have seen that uh, the official language has become basically Ukrainian, and uh, there is a concerted effort to remove Russian uh, from the language Russian uh, from uh, society. Crimea is particularly Russia. However, when we look at uh, Crimea, we see that uh, over 50% of the population uh, have, uh, are of Russian ethnicity. Uh, 
重要されると登用されていく道が閉ざされるということになります。If、uh, Russian、uh, is no longer an official language uh, in uh, uh, this uh, country, it would mean that、uh, Russians、uh, would basically be barred or would not have an opportunity uh, to uh, enter、um, public service. So, it's a lot of people who are in the world, and the people who are in the world, and the people who are in the world, and the people who are in the world. I believe that the fears of、uh, these kinds of people about、uh, the intent of the new administration, about what kind of a society would emerge as a result of the new administration, basically led、uh, to the holding of the、uh, national referendum. As you know,、um, over 90% of the people、uh, voted、uh, in a national referendum,、uh, and the vote was to, that the、uh, people wanted to, enter, uh, part of the, uh, wanted to enter the Russian Federation. I visited、uh, the Crimea、uh, in about one year after this national referendum had been held. そこには当然戦車もありませんし、滞在中、兵士の姿も一切見ませんでした。I did not see any tanks while I was there. I did not see any troops that were still stationed there while I was visiting. 当然、私がクリミアのすべての現実を見れたわけではありません。Of course, I understand uh, that uh, during my limited time there, I was not able to see、uh, the reality of everything in、uh, the Crimea. しかし、私は2度、クリミア連邦大学と、それからセバストポリにあります、モスクワ大学の文校で講演をさせていただきましたが、その時集まった多くの若い学生たちの目は、大変輝いて、非常に朗らかでございました。However, I did have the opportunity to、uh, give two、uh, speeches or lectures、uh, while I was there.、Uh, one was at uh, the uh, Crimean Federal University, which is a direct translation, and the other was at、uh, the branch、uh, school of Moscow University, which was in Sevastopol. I spoke in front of many, many students, and I saw that their,、uh, the eyes of these young people were shining, and、uh, their feeling was very, very positive. Again, of course,、uh, this is my impression, uh, but uh, as far as I was able to tell,、uh, it did not seem that their positive or hopeful attitude or peaceful attitude was something that was fabricated, but rather something that was very much true. しかがって私は今、今、彼らが満足をしているということにおいて、その彼らの状況というものが1年間で好転してきているという現実を理解するべきだと思っています。In other words,、uh, I believe that、uh, one year after the national referendum,、uh, I visited and I've seen with my own eyes that the people there seem to be satisfied.、Uh, and I believe that、uh, it is important、uh, to give、uh, this kind of information、uh, to、uh, the rest of the world.、Uh, in other words, the situation there seems to have been、uh, changing for the better. Uh, I spoke earlier about、uh, the 90% of the population,、uh, national referendum, etc. But、um, I do not necessarily think that、uh, the numbers themselves are、uh, the most crucial thing. なぜなら、例えば、クリミア・タタール人という少数民族は、その選挙の時には、投票の時には、55% の投票率だったと言われています。Uh, the reason is that,、uh, for example, if we look at one of the minority groups、uh, in the Crimea,、uh, that is the Tatars,、uh, their、uh, voter turnout rate was、uh, less than 50%。55%、ね。Uh, 55%、すみません。It was 55%、excuse me、まあ。55% というのは、日本の国政選挙を見ると、そんなに低い数字でもないようにも思いますが。Of course, 55%、uh, it, when we look at、uh, this number from Japanese eyes and we look at、uh, Japanese voter turnout rates,、uh, 55% it does not sound like a small figure at all. So, I'm going to say that 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 I'
、そのクリミア・タタール人、当時1年前に必ずしも投票行動に対して好意的でなかった人たちも、1年間の新しい政権の行動によって、現在、は 99% の方がロシア人のパスポートを持っていると、7割の方はロシアへの編入にもうすでに賛成をしているということを伺いました。Uh, but、uh, more, on a more serious note,、uh, I believe that、uh, the uh, Tatars uh, in Crimea, who、uh, one year ago at the time of the、uh, national referendum may not necessarily have all been、uh, in favor of the vote, I think after one year of seeing what the actual new administration、uh, has been doing,、uh, we see some positive、um, figures. For example, 99% of them have obtained Russian passports. I was told that some 70% of the Tatars now are in favor. Of Crimea having entered the Russian Federation. Crimea is a very important part of the Russian Federation. It is a very important part of the Russian Federation. It is a very important part of the Russian f e I believe uh, that uh, the correct interpretation of events is that we must look at the historical、uh, aspects of this issue.、Um, Crimea,、uh, from the late latter part of the 18th century,、uh, basically belonged to the last part of the 18th century. The the 18th century it was a part of Russian territory, and now,、uh, after many years, it has again become part of Russian territory. I think that is the correct interpretation of events. Therefore, As、uh, Crimea has、uh, reverted back、uh, to、uh, Russian territory, and as they are working very hard to try to、uh, regain、uh, peace and uh, stability, uh, I believe that、uh, we must think seriously and gravely and carefully、uh, about whether, at this very important time in Crimean history, whether the West, including, of course, Japan, should continue to impose、uh, these kinds of economic sanctions. 私は2月に行われたいわゆる東ウクライナを中心とする暴動に対する停戦合意というものがミンスクで行われたときにそのミンスク合意の中にクリミアの文字はどこにもなかったということに注視するべきではないかと。As you remember,、uh, in February,、uh, there was an eruption of、um, uh, violence uh, in the eastern part of the Ukraine. Uh, and uh, as a result,、uh, a ceasefire agreement was arranged in Minsk.、Uh, when you look at the,、uh, the text of the Minsk、uh, ceasefire agreement,、uh, Crimea does, is not mentioned at all. And I think this is a very, very important、uh, point to note. So, now, in Deutsch and France, クリミアの問題というものは、もうこれ以上大きな問題にしないと、基本的に解決済みだというふうに思っておられるのではないかと期待しています。In other words, I have great expectations uh, that uh, the way to、uh, interpret uh, this uh, fact is that uh, uh, the nations of Germany and France、uh, no longer wish、uh, to create、uh, this、uh, Crimean issue as a bigger issue. They do not want to、uh, make it a larger issue. They fundamentally believe,、uh, it is my great hope, that they believe that the Crimean issue has、uh, been settled. ロシアに対する経済制裁を日本が真っ先に解くのが最も適切な処置ではないかと考えています。As a result, I believe that in regard to the Crimean problem, uh, uh, because of what I've just said, I believe that Japan should、uh, take the initiative and, be, and very, very quickly uh, uh,、um, lift uh, these economic sanctions、uh, against Russia. I believe that is the most appropriate measures、uh, to follow. 昨日そのことを議論したときに、元外務官僚でございました東郷和彦さんが
近々安倍首相がオバマ大統領と会談をするときにこの話をするべきではないかという話をされていました。During the upcoming、um, summit meeting between、uh, Prime Minister Abe and President Obama, this should be something,、uh, should be an issue that should be raised. Uh, the reason he said this,、uh, the fundamental、uh, logic behind、uh, Mr. Togo's thinking was that if、uh, economic sanctions、uh, are continued uh, to be uh, placed upon Russia, Russia will、uh, very closely become even,、uh, very quickly become even closer to China. And this is a situation that would not be beneficial for either the United States or Japan. I I therefore have great hopes that this matter will be raised and resolved during the upcoming summit meeting. Having said this, of course,、um, I do have other great expectations about、uh, what might happen at the、uh, summit meeting between、uh, Prime, Minister Oba, uh, uh, Prime Minister Abe and Mr. Obama. However,、um, I、uh, wanted to spend my opening remarks speaking about this particular issue, the Crimean issue.、Uh, ご<笑>質問の方からです。Uh, is uh, the fact that it's、uh, a changing of the status quo by force, and so implicitly can set a bad example for China. And、uh, so, do you, don't you see any merit on this、uh, line of reasoning that,、uh, I mean, it's a changing of the status quo by force? And by the way,、uh, I understood that、uh, you went to China and、uh, you stated、uh, something that sounds obvious that、uh, the Senkaku. Ireland is a, there is actually is a fact that there is a dispute and it should be recognized uh, uh, that there is a dispute to move forward. And、uh, this position, for this position, some people consider you a kind of、uh, heretic or traitor. So, can you clarify your、uh, position regarding the Senkaku issue or dispute? Thanks. Hi. あのご質問ありがとうございます、えー、まず申し上げたいのは先ほども私はこのクリミアの問題と北方領土問題をある意味で絡めてお話を申し上げました。Yes. So, thank you very much for your question.、Um, I would like to begin by saying that,、uh, first of all, I wanted to start off by talking about the Crimean issue and the Northern Territories issues. に,において不利益が生ずるのではないかというお尋ねだと思います。
my understanding of your question is that uh, this uh, changing of uh, the status quo by the use of force uh, is something uh, that if we uh, accept this uh, kind of interpretation of what Russia did with the Crimea, uh, then uh, that could have a, a negative consequences for Japan's relationship uh, with other countries uh, in the area. から as I mentioned earlier uh, in my opening speech, uh, my understanding, to the best of my understanding, uh, the history of Crimea is that, of course, in the ancient past, it was a, a colony of Greece. But um, after uh, many, many centuries, uh, since uh, the uh, end of the war between Russia and Turkey, uh, since uh, the late 18th century, uh, Crimea was part of uh, Russia. So, Russia no the the え、食糧年時代に、え、1954年でございますけれども、お、これは同じソ連邦の中ではあったわけでありますけれども、お、クリミアをお、ロシア共和国からあ、ウクライナ共和国に移したということで、え、ウクライナの領土になりました。uh, however, uh, over time, uh, even though it was part of Russian territory, uh, during uh, the uh, time of uh, Mr. Khrushchev, uh, specifically in 1954, uh, the uh, Crimea was placed under the jurisdiction of uh, a different uh, part of the Soviet Union. It was still part of the Soviet Union, but the Crimean, uh, it was rather than being part of the Russian uh, Republic, it was part made part of the Ukrainian Republic. <laughs> その時からクリミアがウクライナの領土になったわけでありますがその不不の行ったことも現在は非合法不法の行為であったというふうにも言われています。uh, since that time, as I mentioned earlier, uh, Crimea was uh, part of the territory of the uh, Ukraine. However, uh, it, it has uh, been said and it is still being said that what Mr. Khrushchev did at that time, uh, changing uh, the jurisdiction uh, of uh, this uh, area, was something uh, that was illegal or not correct. Russia uh, so, uh, I some people say that this was in vi what he did was in violation of uh, the laws or our legal uh, rules. Having said this, however, uh, at the time, uh, the Soviet Union uh, might not necessarily be considered a, a, a nation that was governed by the rule of law. So, this um, observation uh, that uh, this action was not uh, correct uh, probably may not have that much meaning. え、なった以降も、クリミアの方々は、多く、ロシアに戻りたいという希望を持っており、1991年ソ連邦が亡くなった時にも住民投票を行いました。However, uh, even though uh, the uh, Crimea was placed uh, under the jurisdiction of Ukraine uh, rather than under the jurisdiction of Russia, um, even within uh, the, pe the, the territory of uh, Crimea, many people wanted to still return to Russia. And in fact, in 1991, when the USSR uh, basically um, dissolved or collapsed, uh, there was a national referendum uh, that was held. <laughs> However, the national referendum results was uh, well, results were ignored by Russia at that time. So, in other words, this is the second uh, such national referendum uh, that was held. Uh, 地域の自己決定権というものはかなり重要になってきていると思っています。
I believe that when we look uh, around the world, we see that there are other similar movements where uh, certain uh, territories or areas uh, have a desire to gain independence uh, from a larger uh, nation. For example, we see that uh, the there's a national referendum, uh, for example, the national referendum in Scotland uh, about, about gaining independence from the United Kingdom. Uh, I think that in the future, there will be more regions uh, or more areas of the world where certain peoples want to gain independence and have more autonomy and decide their own future. Excuse me. 領土の主権の問題と地域の自己決定権の問題というのは非常に複雑であることは間違いありません。And of course, it goes without saying that、uh, the idea of、uh, territorial sovereignty on the one hand and the idea of、uh, each region being, the people of each region being able to determine their own destiny,、uh, this, uh, these problems uh, are very intertwined and very complex. しかし、これからの国のあり方ということを考えたときに、圧倒的に多くの人々が、その地域の人々が、独立を期待するとか、あるいはどこかの国に編入されることを期待するというようなあ状況が起きたときには、この民主主義というものに基づいて自己決定権というものを認める方向に動くべきではないかと、そう思っています。However,、uh, when uh, we uh, look to the future and we see that、uh, we consider uh, the, uh, what a nation should be or the, what the、uh, ideal、um, form of a nation should be, then I believe that、uh, if you look at a particular region and you see that the majority of people living in that region have a very strong desire to either want independence or to join another country, then based on democratic principles, I believe that we should move in the general direction of respecting the wishes of the people in that region to determine their own destiny. ただそうなって出てくると出てくる問題はじゃあ北方領土はどうなんだと今ロシアの人たちが住んでいてそこで住民投票を行ったらそれを認めるのかという議論があります。I understand, however, that after making these remarks,、uh, I will be countered with the question of what then do you think about the northern territories issues?、Uh, in other words,、uh, in this uh, region, uh, many, many Russian people are living. And so, if a national referendum were held, would you honor、uh, the uh, or would you respect、uh, the results of that national referendum? それは事情が大きく違うと私は理解をしています。すなわち、えー、第二次世界大戦、えー、後、島に住んでいた日本人がすべて追放されて、追い出されて、日本の現在の根室などに多く移らざるを得ないという事情があったからであります。However,、uh, this、uh, national referendum or people's referendum、uh, idea in the Northern Territories is very, very different. The situation is very, very different because the history of the、uh, area is different.、Uh, in other words,、uh, immediately following the end of World War II, there were many Japanese who were living on the, those islands. However, they were forcibly driven away from their homes and driven from the islands. Many、um, had to move, not because they wanted to, but because they were forced to、uh, move to uh, Japan. Uh, many still live in the area around Nemuro in northern Hokkaido. また尖閣諸島の問題は、これは尖閣諸島には現在、人が住めるような土地ではありませんから、住民投票で決めるという話は存在しないと思っています。Also,、uh, you mentioned、uh, the possibility about uh, the, uh, Senkaku, uh, the, the, uh, the topic of the Senkaku Islands.、Uh, first of all, in regard to holding, holding a people's referendum,、uh, of course, this、uh, idea does not apply to the Senkaku Islands because、uh, these are islands that are fundamentally not habitable. こここれれれれはは非公式でででででででああああっったたたたかもしれまませんががが人のの間間交交わわわわささ中にに実質的な領土棚上げとととうううふふ理解をしていますす、uh, so like uh, so uh, uh, so、ここれれれれれれれれれれれれれれれれれれれれれれれれれれれれれれれれれれれれれれれれれれれれれれれれれれれれれれれれれれれれれれれれれれれれれれれれれれれれれれれれれれれれれれれれれれれれれれれれれれれれれれれれれれれれれれれれれれれれれれれれれれれれれれれれれれれれれれれれれれれれれれれれれれれれれれれれれれれれれれれれれれれれれれれれれれれれれれれれれれれれれれれれれれれれれれれれれ
basically shelve the issue of the Senkaku Islands. Okay, uh, I saw Martin first. Martin Kölling with the German Financial Daily Handelsblatt. Um, you are a proponent of the East Asian community, which means you are in favor of a reconciliation with South Korea and China. Uh, now, of course, at the, we are facing the 70th anniversary of uh, the end of the war. And uh, I would like to know from you how you basically see or rate uh, Prime Minister Abe's attempts in this regard. Is he promoting reconciliation in your point of view, or is he doing the opposite? And what uh, do you think should be done? あの、談話を考えておられるということでございます。so obviously, uh, the 70th uh, anniversary of the end of World War II, uh, this is a very, very uh, important landmark year. And Prime Minister Abe is apparently thinking of issuing a statement uh, on this occasion. Uh, in regard to uh, the statement that he's issuing, um, I have uh, considerable anxieties that uh, what his words might uh, increase tensions uh, among the peoples of uh, the East Asian community. <laughs> Yesterday, I had the opportunity to be in a, a venue uh, where I was able to meet Mr. Murayama, uh, the, one of the former prime ministers. Murayama uh, uh, Mr. Morayama said that, um, of course, he issued a statement uh, uh, on the 50th anniversary uh, of the war. And so in regard to the Morayama statement, Prime Minister Abe has been making many, many remarks about this uh, Morayama statement. Uh, he has been saying, for example, that he will continue to follow in the footsteps of uh, this Morayama statement, or that he will review it, or that he might possibly change part of it. So Mr. Morayama basically threw up his hands and said, I don't know what Mr. Abe is planning to do. あの、最近安倍首相は、え、同じことを言うならコピーすればいいだろうと、いうような、あ、発言をされています。Recently uh, uh, Prime Minister Abe made a comment that uh, if he's simply going to repeat what has been already said before, then you might just simply uh, Xerox or copy the statement. だとすると、この彼は、え、例えば植民地支配とか、あ、侵略戦争であると ということで、お詫びをすることに対して、心の中ではこのましく思ってないという本音が見えてると思います。uh, since uh, you look at these uh, statements of uh, Mr. Abe, uh, my uh, fundamental impression is that in regard to uh, the words that were issued in previous uh, statements about uh, Japan recognizing that it had um, basically uh, colonized, had uh, exerted uh, colonial domination over uh, parts of uh, Asia, that uh, it had engaged in a war of aggression, or that uh, Japan uh, felt heartfelt apologies, uh, sorrow for um, its uh, role uh, in the war, I believe in regard to these kinds of concepts, Prime Minister Abe, in his heart of hearts, does not view these words favorably. という
言いたくないから別の言葉を使ったということになり大変な問題を引き起こすことになりますので私はこの安倍総理の本音が世界の人々に分かっているだけにしっかりとしたメッセージをすなわち植民地支配侵略戦争という言葉を用いてしっかりとお詫びをする気持ちを心に込めて申す必要があるとそのように思います。Um, I speak not only of China and South Korea, but also of the United States and other、uh, Western nations. I believe、uh, that the general understanding among all of these nations is that、uh, they, they understand what is truly in the heart of Prime Minister Abe. They understand his feelings about、uh, these matters. And because、uh, his fundamental feelings about these matters are so widely known, I think it is especially、uh, going to be problematic if he does not use these very crucial words, such as colonial domination or war of aggression, etc., in his. Statement、uh, because it will be taken、uh, as a message that he deliberately omitted those words because he did not want to express these words. And as I said earlier, this could become a very, very a serious problem indeed.、Uh, so I repeat again because everyone、uh, truly understands what is、uh, in、uh, Mr. Abe's heart about these matters, Mr. Abe should、uh, take deliberate and Extra care to include these words such as colonial domination, war of aggression, and truly from the bottom of his heart express and feel、uh, a, a sense of apology and sorrow and regret about these issues. He should use these words in his statement. もしそのそのような明確な言葉をお使いになりたくなければ70年談話を出されない方がよろしいと思います。And if, however, Mr. Abe absolutely does not want to use these words、uh, in his statement, then he should simply not issue a 70th, anniversary,、uh, 70th year anniversary statement at all. I see Ryusaku Tanaka. I am the chair of this church, Tanaka. I am the chair of this church. 私はあの昨年、えー、都合2ヶ月、えー、ウクライナにいて、えー、クリミアがロシアに編入される過程の一部始終を見てきました、えー、マイダンのクーデターに関わ深く関与している米大アメリカ大使館、えー、大使らが出席する、えー、集まりにも出ましたで、えー、その実態はえー、マスコミが伝えるウクライナ報道とは180度違っていましたそれはもうあの鳩山さんが指摘する通りです。So,、um, I'm a member of the club.、Uh, my name is Tanaka. Last year I had an opportunity to spend about two months、uh, in the Ukraine, and I saw what happened with uh, the uh, Crimea, uh, Crimea, uh, Crimea uh, becoming part of、uh, the Russian Federation. I saw it all from the beginning to the end.、Uh, I was even able to attend a gathering uh, where uh, the uh, ambassador and members of the U.S. Embassy uh, there, uh, who were said to be very closely、uh, involved with the、uh, Maidan movement, the Euro Maidan movement, uh, 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 gathered. I was in one of those gatherings. And what I'm saying is that what I saw there was 180 degrees different from、uh, what was being reported、uh, in Japan. In other words, I agree with what you are saying. Kukara s h i m a n this. Ukraina Mondai no Shinso, Imano Yoni Kukuatsu Shizukereba, Hatoyama Sama, Futatabi, America, and Homerare Koton Naruto Mono Desga, Hongi de Tataka Otsumaria, Arimas de Shoka. Uh, my question is that、uh, if you continue uh, to uh, express your、uh, ideas about the Ukrainian issue as you have been doing、uh, today, then,、uh, in other words, if you continue to pursue the truth of、uh, the matter、uh, in this way and to、uh, and publicly、uh, share your results with us, I think you will uh, again uh, gain the great displeasure of the United States.、Uh, are, you are you prepared for that? Um, the word that is being used is homuru, which is sort of to be buried、uh, by the United States. But I've already experienced that once, so、uh, having that happen to me again twice is, is no problem. <laughs> But Mr. Tanaka, I would like to、uh, link with you and work together on this issue, fight together with you on this issue. I see Joel.
Um, Joël Legendre from RTL France, uh, TV and radio journalist. Uh, I think uh, early this year you played in a, in a show in, uh, in Och uh, Bunkamura um, in a theater called uh, West Side Story. <laughs> and you appear as a woman, I think the, having the name of Rosario, who was the name of a former <laughs> wife of a former US president. I mean, that's quite something as a former prime minister to appear on a show like this. And I would like to ask you your view of, as a politician. Um, today, you're, you, you know, if you look back at what you've done in, uh, in 2009 when you were elected, um, would you restate the same things you, you did about Okinawa in the same way? Or would you try to stay longer in power and try to enter into a policy of negotiation with the US on some issues like Okinawa. In other words, what you've done in the past, do you stick to it today again, or would you have done things differently? Thank you. そうですね、あのまあ助走されたっていうことについてでもありますが、あのまあ基本的にはあのもしその過去を振り返ってみますと、あの、えー、総理大臣を務めた時にまあ沖縄問題とかいろいろありましたのでございますが、やっぱり振り返ってみますと同じことを今でもしてたと思いますでしょうか。それとももうちょっとその政権に残ってまあ首相としてあの責務を果たしまして、もっとその米国とその沖縄問題について交渉をし続けようと思いますでしょうか。もしやりやり直すことができたらということです。あの私の女装をぜひ皆さんには見ていただきたかったと思っておりますが、まあ、あの人間、えー、変わるものだと思ってまして私をメイクしてくださった女性から「これであなたの新しい人生が始まりますね」というふうに言われましたが。<laughs> I really would have loved to have shown you my, um, my uh, appearance uh, dressed up as a woman.、Uh, the person, I was thinking、uh, how extraordinary it is when one lives one's life that people undergo many, many different kinds of changes. The lady who was putting on makeup for me said,、uh, Today you are starting the, a new chapter in your life. However,、uh, I realize after a while that things are not so simple. My life has not fundamentally changed after all. <laughs> In other words,、uh, in regard to your question about、uh, Okinawa,、uh, if I would do things differently, I said people fundamentally do not change, and my fundamental stance regarding Okinawa, in other words,、uh, my stance which basically led to my resignation about、uh, my thoughts about、uh, the future of、uh, Futenma Air Base,、uh, I still am involved in this issue. My fundamental feeling,、uh, feelings about this matter have not changed. 私はもはや政治家ではありませんけれども、東アジア共同体というものを構想していく人間として、沖縄を軍事の要石から平和の要石にしていきたいと、そう強く願っています。Uh, I am no longer a politician. However,、uh, I am a person who is very deeply involved in trying to help create a strong、uh, East Asian community. And as a, such a person with such ideals and hopes,、uh, I feel very, very strongly that Okinawa should not be the cornerstone of military activities, but a cornerstone of peaceful activities. So, I think that I have been here for a long time, and I have been here for a long time, and I have been here for a long time. きちにしたくないという気持ちは、総理の時以上に大変強く蘇ってきています。In that sense,、um, I have visited Henneko many times even after、uh, I have uh, left uh, the prime ministership, and、uh, I still believe that it is one of the most beautiful.、Um, Coastlines, one of the most beautiful areas of ocean in the world. And in fact, my feelings about not wanting to see this become a military base has become even stronger uh, since uh, I have、uh, stopped being Prime Minister. The situation that is happening is not a matter of the In fact, I have great expectations that what is changing is not myself, but actually the position of the United States. すなわち海兵隊というものの存在意義というものが今一度見直されてきているというのが一つあると思います。In other words, I believe that there is a thinking going on in the United States about re-evaluating the raison d'etre, the reason for existence of the Marine Corps itself. あと、アメリカと中国、あるいはアメリカと北朝鮮の関係にも。これは表ではなかなか
見えませんが、変化が起きていると理解をしています。I also believe that、uh, in regard to relationship,、uh, between, the relationship between China and the United States, the relationship between North Korea and the United States, although on the surface it seems as though nothing is changing, I think beneath the surface there are changes taking place. つまり中国はもう世界の最大の市場になりつつあります。In other words, it goes without saying,、uh, as many of you know, that China is rapidly becoming the largest market in the world. So, no one, Chugo, to just take in a, I can, a, Kyoto, Koste, Kato, Yukoto, Ga, Matakshua, America, and Totemo, Kiamete, Okina, Kadai, Ni, Nat, Kiteru, to Moimas. As a result, I believe that、uh, the issue of how to、uh, substantially、uh, have good relationships or uh, have uh, Cooperative relationships with China、uh, is becoming a very, very important、uh, issue、uh, being discussed in the United States. So, if you have a lot of people who are in the United States, you can't get a lot of people who are in the United States. So, if you have a lot of people who are in the United States, you can't get a lot of people who are in the United States. そして作るのであるならばどこに作るのかということをアメリカとワシントンすなわちワシントンと東京日本政府だけではなくて沖縄と例えばガムなども含めて議論する場を作ることが求められているのではないかと思っています。Uh, as a result,、uh, the idea uh, that uh, by clinging to the idea of this Henoko、um, uh, uh, building is、uh, something that、uh, maybe is not productive,、uh, is what the United States is beginning to think. In other words, that、uh, if they cling to this idea of、uh, this Henoko idea, then no base may eventually ever be、uh, built. So rather than、uh, Cling to this idea.、Uh, there are many, many other things that are being considered after Futema is closed.、Uh, there are some fundamental issues that are being discussed.、Uh, in other words,、uh, is there truly even an alternative need for another base、uh, after Futema closes?、Uh, and if, however, the answer is yes, then where might that、uh, place be? Until now, discussions have been held between、uh, the United States or Washington and Tokyo, the Japanese government. But I think that what is needed now is to create a venue or a place or, or, or an, an organization or, or a, an opportunity where other parties can also participate in the discussion, such as、uh, people from、uh, Okinawa and Guam. 安倍首相がオバマ大統領と会談をするときに、ぜひ沖縄の事情をお話をいただき、実質、沖縄、辺野古では無理だということも、本来ならば伝えていただきたいと思っております。When Mr.、Uh, Abe and Mr. Obama、uh, have their meeting,、uh, I would hope very, very much that Prime Minister Abe explain the true situation, the difficult situation uh, that uh, we are facing in Okinawa, and that、uh, from a realistic point of view,、uh, Henoko is simply not a viable option.、Uh, that is what I would hope and very much wish that Prime Minister will explain. Onaga Chiji mo hobe s a r e r to u k a g a t e o r i m a s i Washington ni Okinawa no j i m u s h o ga k a m a r a r e t e o r i m a s no de, so no j i m u s h o ga Okina. 役割を演じる可能性も出てきているのではないかと私は思っています。I've also heard that Governor Onaga is planning to visit the United States himself, and I've also heard that there is an Okinawa office now、uh, that has been opened in Washington, and there is a great possibility that this Okinawa office will play a very important role in the future on this issue. Anthony. Anthony Rowley, Singapore Business Times.、Um, I'd like to ask you a question about the Asian Infrastructure Investment Bank and Japan's refusal so far to join it. I think、um, there's been an awful lot of publicity about the controversy on this bank, but many people have missed the point, I think, that one of the prime aims of the bank is to create a land bridge between Northeast Asia and Europe via Central Asia. And the AIB will work with the Russian led Central Asian Development Bank in Kazakhstan to this end. Do you think Japan, I mean, this will have enormous implications for Japan for the rest of Northeast Asia. Do you think Japan is missing the point as far as this bank is concerned and its implications for the region? AIB, in terms of the AIB, in the last year, the の方々との関わりの中で私は日本が当初から
AIAB に参加をすべきだと考えていました。In regard to the、uh, establishment of the AIIB,、uh, from uh, last year,、uh, in my、uh, various meetings and、uh, relationships or dealings with、uh, various persons from China,、uh, I had come to the conclusion quite early that、uh, Japan should, from the very beginning,、uh, be involved in the establishment of the bank. えー、かなり長い年月をかけて、えー、練ってできたものだとそのように理解をしています。I believe that many people in Japan have the impression that the idea or the concept of the AAB suddenly appeared from nowhere. However, I believe that this does not reflect the truth that in fact China basically has made many, many efforts over many months and many years to try to slowly develop this idea. 東南アジアだけを考えても、例えば道路やパイプラインなどの建設が急がれておりますし、それには多額の投資が必要になっています。Uh, if we look just at Southeast Asia, for example, we see that there's a huge need for the construction of new roads, new pipelines, and uh, as a result, uh, there's a great deal of investment that, needs,、uh, that is necessary as well. 最近、習近平国家主席が話されているように、陸上におけるシルクロードという構想がございます。この構想で、アジア、ユーラシア大陸というものが横断するようなさまざまなインフラが必要になってくるということでございます。And uh, Mr. Uh, President、uh, Xi Jinping has recently talked about the idea of creating this land bridge or land、uh, road. Basically, it's a Silk Road concept.、Uh, in, uh, as a result of this、uh, Silk Road concept being realized,、uh, the Eurasian continent will suddenly have a tremendous and urgent need for new infrastructure. I have been in the United States and I have been in the United States. I believe このアジアのみならず世界の人々に安心を与えるかということを考えておりました。Of course,、uh, I understood very well that、uh, as long as there remained a great uh, uh, I, um, feelings, strong feelings in Japan about、uh, viewing China as a great threat, I knew that as long as these feelings remained strong in China, that it would be very, very difficult for、uh, voices to be raised、uh, that would promote、uh, Japan joining the AIIB. And I also understood, of course, that because of、uh, Japan's cooperative relationship with the United States, it was difficult for Japan to make the decision to join the AIIB. Having said this, however, when we look at、uh, Japan and when we look at the, uh, uh, the broader、uh, area in which it Uh, exist Asia, and we see that、uh, there is going to be again this huge need for new infrastructure to be built. If、uh, Japan and China could show the world and the people of Asia and the world that they could cooperate in bringing about this kind of uh, new uh, infrastructure and new progress, then I think the people of Asia and people of the world would feel very, very、uh, reassured. So, in the case of Japan, the AIB is going to be able to do it. 中国を非常に喜ばせるわけでありますから、中国が喜ぶことによって、日本と中国との間の政治的な停滞というものを大きく展開できるきっかけになったのではないかと、そう思っています。I also think that、uh, if Japan were to join the AIB,、uh, then I think that would have been something、uh, that would be something that would have brought great joy、uh, to China. And if China rejoiced in this、uh, decision, then China、uh, Japan relationships, especially the political relationship, which has remained stagnant for some years, would have、uh, been able to be changed in a very, very drastic way. In other words, it would have been, it could still be a great opportunity. I have a question、uh, for you.、Uh Uh, you mentioned in your opening speech、uh, the term、uh, military industrial complex in relation to the United States. It's not a term we usually hear. 
from former Japanese prime ministers in relation to the United States. Uh, as you know, next week, uh, the Prime Minister Abe will be traveling to Washington, and he'll have an unprecedented appearance before a joint session of the U.S. Congress, an honor which has never been given to a, a Japanese Prime Minister before. And during your premiership, most of the U.S. policy was attacking you over your Okinawa policy and, and Hinoko base. Mm -hmm. uh, should we interpret that as being that the United States uh, was unhappy with you because you were annoying the military industrial complex with your own policies, whereas they give this great honor to Prime Minister Abe because his policies are very much in line with what they want to see him do? Um, I have not directly ever uh, received any severe criticism directly from the United States. And I have not received any kind of sort of attack or, or criticism from the military industrial complex in the United States either. と考えたんですが、現実 However, uh, what uh, I faced was the fact that uh, because of the change in administration uh, that had occurred with the Democratic Party uh, coming into power, I would thought that there would be a change uh, in the Japanese government. I thought that the freedom that the Japanese government uh, would have in terms of uh, changing policies or determining uh, new policies, the degree of freedom uh, would be greatly increased as a result of this change in administration. However, the reality was that when we look at, for example, the relocation of the Fdema Air Base, uh, I realized that uh, our own, the J Japanese Ministry of Foreign Affairs and the Japanese Ministry of Defense, uh, the bureaucrats there, uh, instead of supporting my views on this idea, uh, rather uh, stuck to the ideas that had been developed uh, between uh, themselves and their counterparts in the United States for many, many years, they put more emphasis on that kind of thinking. So,現在はトップに上り詰めておられるような官僚の皆さん方が当時、鳩山政権に対しては否定的でアメリカに対して妥協するなというようなメッセージを送り続けていたということでも明らかだと思います。and uh, I believe that uh, this is not something that I'm just saying from my own experience, but actually uh, there has uh, been uh, there have been many documents that have been released as a result of WikiLeaks. And so what I'm saying has become um, actually um, um, proved. Uh, in fact, uh, there are some officials that are now serving in top posts uh, in the United States. Uh, and uh, at the time of my administration, uh, they were very, very critical uh, of uh, my uh, attempts and efforts. And uh, they basically um, pushed uh, that for or absolutely no compromise. In other words, there was no willingness uh, to try to uh, accept my ideas. Uh, to the interpreter, I think it was Japanese officials who were telling the U.S. not to compromise. Ah, <laughs> So yes, you are absolutely right. Excuse me, uh, the interpreter misunderstood. The Japanese bureaucrats were telling uh, their counterparts in the uh, United States uh, not to compromise, uh, not to accept, uh, not to cave in to Mr. Hatoyama's uh, demands or requests. Myself, 
、だからアメリカの意に常に沿うような外交姿勢を取らなければならないかということはまた別の問題だと考えています。Uh, I would also like to clarify.、Um, I myself spent many years as a student in the United States.、Uh, I love、uh, this、uh, nation. I think it is a wonderful、uh, country. But those feelings、uh, that I have, positive feelings about the United States and uh, the uh, work that I have uh, as, uh, as a Japanese politician,、uh, in other words,、uh, that、uh, just because I personally like the country, I have to. Always follow、uh, the will of the United States.、Uh, following that kind of a diplomatic、um, stance, I think those are two separate issues. Siegfried k i e l freelancer from Germany.、Um, I'm writing for an Austrian newspaper a story about a Um, relation between the k o d e n h o v e k a l e r g i family and、uh, Japan. So I want to ask you how are related your philosophy or your thinking about East Asian community to the k o d e n h o v e k a l e r g i political thinking and to the、uh, thinking of the Kachima Peace、uh, Institute? Because Mr. Mr. Kachima was very a close friend to uh, uh, Richard k o d e n h o v e k a l e r g i はいえー、私の東アジア共同体、えー、という構想はあクネホフカルルギー博の友愛陰性心によるパンヨーロッパ主義に非常に影響を受けています。Uh, the East Asian community、uh, concept that I am so in favor of seeing realized uh, is uh, basically based on the idea of UI, which directly translated would be brotherly love or friendship or、uh, feelings of fraternity, uh, 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 similar feelings which were espoused by the gentleman who you mentioned, who the interpreter's name cannot, <laughs> the name cannot pronounce,、uh, who espoused the idea of a pan European uh, uh, concept. <laughs> ハクの時代はご承知のとおりスターリンとヒットラーの全体主義が吹き荒れるヨーロッパでありました。Of course,、uh, the、uh, era in which this gentleman、uh, lived was the era when、uh, people such as Stalin and Hitler were basically pushing forward the idea of、uh, Zentai Shugi, which would be totalitarianism. その全体主義に戦うための思想として、UI というものが大変重要であるということで、UI はある意味での革命思想として世に出たと理解しています。I believe that、uh, in order to fight uh, this uh, move toward totalitarianism,、uh, another idea was、uh, necessary, and this is where this UI or this fraternity of friendship uh, uh, idea uh, came、uh, into existence. It was basically a kind of revolutionary concept. 自由というものは大変尊いけれども、自由が行き過ぎると、弱肉強食の社会になり、また、平等も大変重要な概念だけれども、平等というものが行き過ぎると、非常にやる気のないというか、みんなが平等になる、悪平等。と言われるような社会に陥ってしまうということを彼は主張しその自由と平等という二つの大変重要な考え方をつなぐ架け橋として友愛を提唱いたしました。In other words,、uh, the thinking、uh, that he had at the time was that there were two wonderful concepts that existed in the world. One was the idea of freedom.、Uh, freedom, of course, is a great and honorable、uh, and a valued concept. However, if one goes、uh, too far with allowing freedoms,、uh, when there are no controls, you become uh, basically uh, a society where there's the law of the jungle, the strong prey upon the weak.、Uh, also, in a similar way,、uh, equality,、uh, the idea is a very, very important one. But if you go too far with that concept, you create a society where no one makes any efforts.、It's 
it's a kind of bad equality where, in other words, if people are all the same, then why make any efforts to do any better than anyone else? So he emphasized the fact that uh, these freedom, uh, these two concepts, freedom and equality, were very, very important. Uh, but the way uh, th that one should move forward is to link these uh, two ideas. And the way he wanted to link these ideas, the bridge between these ideas was this UI or fraternity uh, brotherhood so, concept. 人間と人間のつながりというものを絆というものの重要性を認識していく中でパンヨーロッパ主義を唱えそれが後に EUという形に結実をいたしました同じことが私は東アジアでも必ずできると思っています in other words, uh, he fundamentally uh, valued people-to-people -people human ties uh, between uh, persons. Uh, he thought this was a fundamentally important concept, and as it developed uh, over time, this became the pan-European concept, which eventually uh, became realized, became the foundation of the EU. And I am hoping, and I believe very strongly, that a similar effort can be done in, in East Asia as well. が経済的な格差も大きいし、また民族も多様で、え、宗教も多様で、なかなかまとまりがつかないのではないかと批判的な方も多いです。I understand that uh, there are many people who are critical of uh, these ideas that I've just expressed. Uh, they say that in comparison to the uh, EU, when we look at East Asia, the uh, disparities uh, that exist, uh, the differences that exist between countries uh, is enormous. There is, for example, wealth disparity. There are also many, many different kinds of ethnic groups, uh, races that live here. There are many different religions uh, that exist in this area. So bringing them all together into one group would be very, very difficult. あの、uh, however, uh, there is uh, in both uh, Japan and China this fundamental concept that uh, by bringing uh, harmony uh, you are able to link people. はい。in other words, there is fundamental uh, respect for the idea of um, uh, harmonious uh, coexistence uh, in uh, this part of Asia. As a result, um, I believe that uh, an East Asian community can be realized, and I think it will uh, be uh, an area where this idea of UI that I'm promoting so strongly will eventually set down deep roots. え、なのかとこの本に書かれておりますので、え、ご覧になっていただければと思います。And in regard to your question about why I believe so strongly in the possibility and uh, the benefits of having this East Asian community, uh, I've explained that in a great deal in my new book. Teddy Jimbo. Thank you. Um, I'm going to ask questions in Japanese. あの、あの、という so uh, I've listened to what you've said about the uh, Crimea uh, issue, and uh, I understand what you're saying. But it is also true that there is a, a section of society that criticizes you uh, by saying that although what you are doing might be right, for a former prime minister to uh, take part in these kinds of activities, uh, is that truly correct? So my question is, uh, what do you view uh, your role as a former prime minister? Uh, in other words, uh, some people say that if a former prime minister, the former head of the country, uh, takes actions and does and expresses 
opinions that are different from what the current administration or the Japanese government is saying or doing, it might, especially overseas, it might send a different message uh, from uh, from what the gov uh, current Japanese government is trying to do. However, we have seen that other former state uh, heads of state uh, uh, state leaders have uh, moved on their own. Uh, for example, Prime Minister Koizumi, uh, former President Carter. So, what? How do you view the role of a former Prime Minister? Uh, in the past, I had an opportunity uh, to meet with a former prime minister, and when we exchanged name cards, on his name card, uh, he had as his title, former prime minister. However, um, I have no such uh, words on my uh, name card. Well, uh, but on a more serious note, um, I believe that there are things that a former prime minister should do. Uh, uh, for example, Mr. Carter, who you just mentioned, um, putting aside uh, how his presidency uh, was evaluated or regarded, uh, after, he, uh, be after he left the presidency, he visited many, many different um, places in the world. He visited, for example, uh, North Korea at a time when there were no diplomatic, diplomatic relations uh, between uh, the United States and North Korea. And he worked and contributed uh, toward improving the relationship between these two countries. 私は政府の立場を真っ向から否定するつもりはありません。え、it is However, I believe that uh, there is an area of diplomacy called a private a diplomacy or private people's diplomacy, not official diplomacy. There are things that uh, the government cannot do that uh, we who are outside of the government can do. Uh, I think many of you may recall that several years ago I visited Iran, and then at that time I also again was subjected to a great deal of criticism. However, I had an opportunity to meet many people uh, in Iran at that time, including uh, the president uh, of that time, and I told him, please try to learn from the lessons of Japan. え、原子力 uh, in other words, I explained to him uh, that Japan had a history uh, after uh, the end of the war where uh, Japan was viewed still with a great deal of suspicion. And at, as Japan moved forward with its own uh, nuclear policy, it had to work very, very hard and uh, spend a great deal of time and effort to convince the world that it only wanted to pursue uh, nuclear energy, not for peaceful purposes, not for military purposes. Toji, P5 plus one no uh, uh, there are many uh, discussions and negotiations going on at that time, but I told the president uh, to please try to be patient uh, that uh, things uh, do not change immediately very quickly, but please to hang on and uh, not uh, give up and not stop the uh, negotiations. Some of the Iran was very strong in the discussion, and it was very strong. 
イランとアメリカとの間で合意が事実上できてきたというところまで参りました。よかったと思っています。And as a result,、uh, or uh, in uh, the following years,、uh, Iran did continue to、uh, pursue its negotiations、uh, with great、um, patience. And as a result,、uh, we have basically seen、uh, the emergence of a de facto agreement between Iran and the United States、uh, on this issue. And I think this is a very positive thing indeed. そのの、uh, what I'm saying is that、uh, because of my position as the former Prime Minister,、uh, just because I do have this title, I am able to go to visit various countries and meet with very important leaders in that nation. そういった方々にお会いをして、世界の平和に向けて日本が果たすべき役割を、現在の政府でなかなか言えないこと、できないことをやることが、元総理としての責務ではないかと思っています。In other words,、uh, when I meet、uh, these different leaders, I am able to、uh, express、uh, Japan's fundamental、uh, intent, which is to try to、uh, contribute toward、uh, gaining more peace、uh, in the world. In other words, I also talk about the role Japan should play in contributing to more peace in the world. In other words, I think there are things that, as a Person outside of the government, but with, as a, a former prime minister, I can do and say things that the Japanese government cannot do and cannot say. I think, in fact, this is one of my great responsibilities as a former prime minister. あの最後に、えー、今回私がクリミアに行ったことに対して、ひょっとして、えー、安倍総理に指示をされて行ったのではないかというような思いを持った方も何人か。おられました決してそうではなかったのでありますがそのように感じた方もおられたようでございます。I would also like to make one comment, which is that in regard to my visit to Crimea, there have been some people who have speculated that perhaps I was secretly instructed or asked by Prime Minister Abe to visit. I would like to say very clearly here that there was no such instruction or no such guidance. Okay, well, regrettably, that we have、uh, come to the end of our time here.、Uh, so, first of all, let's give a warm thank you to、uh, not to the former Prime Minister, but to the President of the East Asian Community Institute. Thank you. <laughs> And、uh, hopefully, we'll get a chance to, to talk to him more because. He has just earned himself a one year honorary membership to the Foreign Correspondents Club of Japan, and we very much hope that he takes advantage of the opportunity to come here from time to time. <laughs> and I have a final bit of good news、uh, in the spirit of UI. He is not going to immediately rush out the door. He will、uh, exchange Meishi for those journalists and others who want to keep in contact. With the president of the East Asian Community Institute. Thank you very much.